Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa Belinda and I make videos about clean beauty and holistic wellness. In today's video I'm showing you my favorite clean beauty products of 2020. I will be showing you some makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, as well as some supplements. Most of the products I've discovered in 2020 and some of them are products that I discovered in previous years but I still felt that they deserve a spot in the 2020 favorites because they are just amazing. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with makeup and then move on to skincare, body care, hair care, supplements. I don't have any favorite primer or foundation of 2020. I actually am struggling a little bit to find a very good both primer and foundation. So I will just be skipping that category. But if you know any that you love and want to recommend, then please tell me in the comments because I would love to know. So I will be moving straight to concealer. I have two favorite concealers from two different brands for 2020. The first one is the True Serum Skin Concealer from Elia Beauty. This concealer was love at first sight for me. It's so good. It just gives such a natural result. It never looks cakey. It just blends so seamlessly with the skin. And it just gives you that luminosity without being greasy. It's just, oh, it's so lovely. And this one is medium coverage. So it doesn't cover up everything, but it's still just evens out your skin beautifully, it covers dark circles so well. It's perfect on those days when I don't want full coverage. Because the days I go for full coverage, I don't reach for this one. Um, but on most days, I actually love like a more natural look. It's packed with nourishing, yummy ingredients. It contains vitamin C, which helps to brighten the complexion and to fade hyperpigmentation. And that's just one thing that I absolutely love about this one, that you know that it does something good for your skin while you're wearing it and my skin just loves it. It's absolutely stunning. And then the next concealer that I have is this one. This is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer from Hourglass. This one is such a gorgeous concealer. I love it so much. This one is way more full coverage than the Ilia, but I love them for different reasons. This one is so good at just covering up everything and it still gives a very natural result even though it is full coverage it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup and i love using this uh, i used it instead of foundation i just put it like where i need to if i have some hyperpigmentation i just dot it on that area um i use it like around my nose where i have some redness usually and under my eyes and then just blend it in it blends in so seamlessly to the skin and covers so well. Uh, it also covers dark circles like they don't exist. And you almost don't need a powder on top of it because it just dries down so fast without being dry. That's the thing because you can still, it's still easy to work with. It's still easy to blend into the skin, but then it just dries down into this velvety finish and it's just stunning. Love. All right, that was concealer. Let's move on to bronzer. I have this bronzer from Eden Minerals. This is the most stunning clean bronzer I've ever tried. This is just called their Mineral Bronzer and I have this shade Sommerdrum and it's just such a gorgeous bronzer. I would say it's kind of neutral. It's not too warm and it's also not too cold. So you can use it as both bronzer and contour which I love because I like to do like a little bit of a bronzer contour combination on my skin. I don't do like a heavy contour and I also don't do like full bronzing. I just like to define my cheekbones while still making it bronzy. I like to put it on my nose and I also like to use it like here to define the jawline. I put a little bit in my forehead. I just use it for both. That's why I love this color. It doesn't look too orange and it doesn't look too gray. It's just perfect tone. The negative thing I have to say about this is that they don't have a wide shade range and that is so bad. Um, I think actually this is the only shade they have and this one works for a lot of people but if you are darker than this then obviously you're not gonna be able to use this as a bronzer. So 
that's definitely a big minus. I really hope that they uh, come to their senses and come out with more shades because it is such a gorgeous powder, such a gorgeous formula, blends beautifully into the skin. It's just oh, gorgeous. And then for blush, the favorite blush of 2020. This was actually a hard one because I have found so many gorgeous blushes, in particular cream blushes because I'm a huge fan of cream blushes. I just think it looks way more natural and luminous to the skin. So I narrowed it down to one because it was like I had to choose one or else I had to choose all of them. So I narrowed it down to one and the winner is the Carrot Color Pot by Eric Perez. This is how it looks. I have the shade Healthy, which is so gorgeous. I haven't tried the other shades, so this is the only shade that I can vouch for, but it is just so stunning. I'm wearing it today. As you can see, I applied it this morning. It just lasts all day, which is kind of rare for a cream blush. I feel like they tend to look very good when you apply it on the skin, and then they fade a little bit throughout the day, but this one just is there, and that's one thing that I absolutely love about it. And Two other cream blushes that I also love is the uh, Multi Stick from Elia, gorgeous. And then I love the Phyto Pigment cream blush from Juice Beauty. Those are two other cream blushes that I absolutely adore, but I picked this one as my absolute favorite. I think just because it lasts the longest. All of them apply beautifully, all of them have gorgeous shades and it looks so nice on the skin and just blends like butter into the skin but this one lasts the longest and I also find that it gives a little bit more of a glow to the cheeks which I personally love so the carrot color pots from Eric Perez specifically in the color healthy <sighs> love it moving on to highlighter my favorite highlighter of 2020 is the Illuminator from Ilia Beauty. And the shade that I specifically love is the Polka Dots and Moonbeams. Looks like this. It's just, oh, it's just such a gorgeous highlighter. I'm wearing it right now. You see that glow there? It just looks so natural and so angelic. Like, that's the best word to describe this. Angelic. It just looks... Unbelievable. I don't like a highlighter that is too sparkly and when it's too metallic um, I want that perfect wet glow which this one gives. It is absolutely stunning. I also love the packaging that is like a little stick and it's so convenient, easy to bring with you. Not that you need to because it literally lasts all day once you apply it. Um, love it. And then we have mascara. I have two mascaras that I just couldn't pick a favorite because I love them both so much. First of all, we have the Limitless Lash Mascara from Elia. This one is just so lovely. Um, the brush is totally unique. One side is kind of like a normal mascara brush and then it has this little comb on one side that's just totally unique and it's so amazing because it reaches every single lash and that little comb on one side it's so useful to really pick up all the lashes and it just gives you this wow it just separates and just ugh, gorgeous if you need a really good mascara you have got to try this one the other mascara that i absolutely adore is the Eric perez natural almond mascara it looks like this. It's like a very traditional bristle brush. And when I first saw it, I was like, I didn't expect it to perform so well just because the brush looked so average. But oh my goodness, it is so stunning. I'm wearing it today. Uh, it just separates the lashes like no mascara I've ever tried. And it's just... It looks so gorgeous. It just glides on so beautifully. It gives volume and separation and length at the same time. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. My lashes are just so separated, so defined. One thing that I will say about it though is that it is quite difficult to wash off. You kind of need to use an oil to get it off. It doesn't claim to be waterproof but it is. <laughs> it, it really, once you apply it, it's there. I feel like I had to 
almost tug a little bit on my lashes to get it off that's the only negative thing but on the other hand it also lasts so long and it it stays in place all right moving on to eyeshadow and for eyeshadow i have also two items to show you first of all i have the eyeshadow from kia Waze. this is the shade magnetic and this is the powder eyeshadow it looks like this they recently came out with cream eyeshadows as well i haven't tried those but the powder eyeshadows i absolutely adore they're just amazing quality i love this magnetic shade so much it's just so flattering to my blue eyes and it's perfect to define the crease it's just ugh, stunning i also love their sustainability approach with all their products they're all refill so once you purchase this aluminum container then you can just pop out there's like a little hole in the back you can just pop out the shadow and just uh, buy a refill and put it back in so that's just something I absolutely love because they have these amazing values. And then for the next favorite eyeshadow of 2020, I have the Rowan Beauty 1111 palette. Wow, this is a new discovery for me. I just uh, got it a few weeks ago, but I'm just in love. This is how it looks like. It looks a little messy now because I have been uh, dipping my fingers in them, <laughs> obviously. It's like the glitter and the shimmer and the... Oh, they're all cream shadows with, I would say, different levels of glitter. So there's like this one here, which I'm wearing today, which is just very creamy and uh, very small particles of glitter. And then we have this one where the glitter gets a little bit chunkier. And then here it gets a little bit chunkier. And here is like super chunky glitter, almost like a foil when you put it on your eyes. And it's just, it sparkles like insane like it's out of this world it is so so stunning sometimes like i just play with this palette in the evening just like sit in front of the camera and just like wow look at the glitter wow it's like mesmerizing if you're a glitter sparkle lover like me you're going to adore this palette it is so stunning oh i forgot to show you my favorite powder of 2020 this is actually uh an old favorite but it just stays with me year after year after year because it is so good this is the translucent bamboo blur powder from 100 pure uh i'm all out of this one because it is just so good it's like a super super finely milled powder it's like an hd powder and it literally has only one ingredient and that is bamboo silica i think that's how you say it uh and it's just blurs your skin it's not something that i use to like bake with like it's way too finely milled for that but it's perfect to just like swoop over the face especially in the areas where you tend to get a little oily or where you have some more texture like here on the sides of the nose and the forehead the chin and it's just you look airbrushed in real life it is so stunning you have to be a little careful so you don't use too much because then it can look a little bit dry but if you just hit that sweet spot and just use a little amount it is just so stunning sometimes I apply like a little more under the eyes with a sponge and then brush it off with a brush right away and it's just like creasing just doesn't exist anymore it is stunning and one thing that I also love about it is that it is so natural because when it comes to powder especially these very finely milled powders is that you tend to inhale them because they're just they're in the air and they're in your face so that's one thing even if you're not into clean beauty some products are really worth considering switching to a clean version and loose powder is one of those products because the chance of you inhaling the product is very big so you want to reach for something that is as natural as possible love okay, moving on to lips first of all i have my absolute favorite lip balm like of all times i just spit because i got so excited i hope you didn't see that um it is the Hurrah lip balms. They have like so many flavors, it's insane. Uh, I have the vanilla and the papaya pineapple and then I have the black cherry which is a tinted version. They're just so stunning and they're so nourishing and so natural which is also very important when it's something that you put on your lips. You tend to ingest a little bit of it. They smell lovely they really nourish your lips these really 
goes into the skin and just heals cracks and everything they're just so nourishing super recommend and then we have a lip liner my favorite favorite lip liner of the year is the sandstone lip liner in the shade hot mess this is just the most gorgeous nude shade ever i don't really know what that doodle was but at least you can see how it looks for my skin tone for my lips is just the perfect nude with like a hint of a pink because i like a nude that leans more pink rather than too beige uh, and this one is just perfect and it lasts so long and what more can i say about a lip liner it's great and then let's move on to lipstick i haven't been much of a lipstick girl throughout my life i just i like the idea of lipstick but not so much once I actually put it on my lips i feel uncomfortable most of the time um and then i discovered the high impact color block lipsticks from elia and all of a sudden i became a lipstick girl because they are amazing my favorite shade is the one right here this is amber light it's just such a stunning nude shade and this lipstick is just so stunning it's so comfortable to wear i think that's why i love it the most it's pigmented like you like you can see like it is pigmented but it still feels so comfortable on the lips it doesn't dry them out and i like that it has this like classic dry down it's not matte and it's also not shiny it's just like somewhere in between like a classic lipstick and it's just feels so nourishing on the lips and it doesn't dry the lips out and that's just one thing that i absolutely love about them also the shades i have only tried two shades which is the amber light and marsala which is a darker shade and they're both so flattering to the skin they just really nailed the tones because when it comes to lipstick usually what you feel comfortable in has so much to do with your skin tone and like your undertone and for me i've just always struggled to find a shade that's flattering to me and this one just huh, it's stunning so if you are looking for an amazing lip gloss high quality that doesn't dry out your lips and that has a very flattering shade range then I really recommend this one high impact color block lipstick from Elia and the amber light is my favorite and then let's move on to lip gloss I have two favorite lip glosses to show you guys and I had to include both of them because they are just so different so first of all I have another new discovery this is the kiss my liquid lip balm from Rowan Beauty and I have the shade Charlie so this is actually marketed as a lip balm but it is kind of like a hybrid between lip balm and lip gloss because it is shiny but not super shiny like a lip gloss but shinier than a lip balm i'm wearing it right now it's just so so stunning it's not sticky whatsoever and it has a very fresh scent of peppermint and it's just oh it's stunning you have three shades but this is the one that i reached for this is the middle shade it's quite pigmented for for a lip gloss slash lip balm but it just looks so gorgeous and it gives that uh glossiness but without being sticky at all stunning i love it so much and my other favorite lip gloss is the gloss bomb from fenty beauty and the shade fussy is my favorite this one i actually discovered in 2019 but it's just it's followed me into 2020 because it's just so amazing this is more of like a gloss gloss so if the rowan was more of like a neutral gloss this is like this is a gloss it's definitely super sparkly i already have so much gloss on my lips i can't put on more but i'll just put it here on my hand it's just mm. it is so stunning it smells amazing and it's just it just takes every look to the next level this is more of a traditional gloss it's more sticky than the rowan beauty gloss but compared to most glosses it's not sticky it feels very nourishing on the lips as well uh oh i adore this one so much i love i already have so too much gloss on my lips but i love just applying it like especially on the cupid's bow 
it has that like oh, it just gives the lips such a pout I think they have quite a few shades now I really want to try more of these shades because oh, it's so stunning we are done with all the makeup moving on to skincare uh, I actually don't have a lot of cleansers to show you I have found a lot of cleansers that I have enjoyed but not like wow this is so amazing I need to share this with the world good you know what I mean so I'm not going to be showing you cleansers I'm moving on to serum I discovered the stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum from juice beauty I got this in PR it smells quite heavily of like citrus but it didn't irritate my skin at all it's made with natural ingredients but it is powerful i could really see a difference in my skin especially with hyperpigmentation i felt like it was so good at like brightening my complexion and i felt that it evened out my skin i am only 26 so i don't really have any um aging wrinkles but i do have like some dryness wrinkles and it really really evens those out it almost has like the texture of like a silicone texture without actually containing any silicone and it just really feels like it's smoothed out the skin. I had like very dreamy skin <laughs> when I was using this. It's just, it's really amazing. And if you're actually working more anti-aging on your skin, I think you will really, really like this one. It is powerful. Moving on to moisturizer. So I actually discovered a lot of really good moisturizers this year. So many that I honestly couldn't include all of them in this video. So for this video, I just picked out two of my favorite moisturizers. One that I really loved in the summer and then one that I've been really loving in the winter. So let's start with my favorite moisturizer for summer. So this is the Waterlock Moisturizer from Tata Harper. This is a pricey little thing, but it is so good. The ingredients are so clean. It's so lightweight it really like locks in moisture to your skin and i love this in the summer um, because it's very light and very like almost like a gel texture which feels really nice in the summer uh, i think in the winter i would need a little bit more yush, if you know what i mean like a little more moisturizing a little more oiliness almost um it's very very light. I love the packaging, very sanitary with the just press here and the cream comes out so there's no finger dipping. When you apply it to the skin you would almost think that it has silicones inside. It doesn't but it has that same like smoothing properties and it's just mm, it makes the skin look so hydrated and just plump which I really really love about it and it really works like to smooth out the skin texture as well and I actually did see a difference in, in my skin texture when I was using this. It's just ugh, lovely. And for my favorite winter moisturizer, we have the Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer from Wishful. This is also a very recent discovery. It is lovely. It smells like lavender, like a lot. They say it's a jelly moisturizer. It has like a jelly texture but also a little bit oily. It's just so lovely. I personally love the scent of lavender. It's, it's quite a lot. So if you are sensitive to scents or if you don't like the scent of lavender, this is not for you. <laughs> um, but I personally love the scent of lavender. It's just so calming. I use it both in morning and in evening, but just putting this on before I go to bed and just having the scent of lavender on my face it is just i believe it's made my sleep better as well so la 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 this one and then moving on to treatment i came across this exfoliating mask from juice beauty this is the green apple peel full strength exfoliating mask so this is what it looks like so the full strength version uh contains 30 percent aha alpha hydroxy acid it's strong it's potent i use it one time per week that's enough for me you should never over exfoliate your skin but just keep it to that sweet spot not too much not too little and i find that one time per week is perfect for me i apply it to cleanse skin leave it on for 15 minutes and your skin starts like tingling in the beginning it can be like a little painful like it almost burns but then it subsides and then when you wash it off my face is red like it's red but you can see how it's literally like removed the outer layer of my skin like it's that sounds 
brutal. <laughs> no, but in the best way. Like, the layer of just dead skin cells and dryness is just gone. And fresh new skin has come through. The result is similar to the uh, blood mask from uh, The Ordinary, but this one has cleaner ingredients. So, love. And then moving on to eye cream. This is the Cranberry Lip and Eye Butter from Eric Perez. This is so nourishing. When you apply this to the skin, it's like you just give your skin a warm, fluffy blanket. Like, it's just so yummy and nourishing. So, it's lip and eye butter, but I use it mainly uh, as an eye cream. The texture is like a thick moisturizer. Let me show you. It looks like this. So I find it's like kind of a weird texture to put on my lips. I don't really like that. <laughs> I think it's like flashback to when I was a kid and would always have dry lips and my mom would make me wear that gross um, white salve like on my lips. And I just hated the texture. Like when I mean, you could feel it on your lips, like I hated it so much and I would always like lick my lips and like do like this so I always had like this redness around my mouth as a kid anyway, so I hate the texture of cream on my lips so that's why I don't use it on my lips it's also good to just use if you have any dry patches because it is so nourishing so if you have any dry patches on your face or anywhere else on your body uh, dry cuticles, wherever uh, is perfect. An all-around save my skin product. Moving on to body lotion. This one from Estelle and Tilde. This is the Nourishing Body Butter and I have the scent Vanilla Tangerine. This is such an amazing body butter. But, 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 body butter. <laughs> body butter. First of all, the scent. Mm, it's so fresh. It's like, well it's vanilla so it's sweet but then Tangerine. I don't really know what tangerine is. It's some kind of citrus fruit, I think. Uh, so it ha it has this like freshness to it as well. The texture is very whipped. It just melts into the skin. The texture is fluffy and whipped, and very very nourishing. And before we move on to hair products, I didn't mean to do like a hair flip as I said hair products. Before we move on to hair products, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> it's very late right now. Um, before, we, before, before we move on to hair products, I have a perfume that I'd like to share with you. And this is from Sabe Mason. This is the this is the scent called Parisian Rhapsody. And this is a solid perfume. Oh, it's amazing. It smells so lovely, so clean. Mm. And I love that it's a solid perfume because a lot of people are sensitive to perfume mainly because of the spray, because it's in the air and you inhale it. And a lot of perfumes contain very questionable ingredients and you really don't want to be inhaling that. I don't believe it's fully natural. Uh, I do think there is some synthetic fragrances in there, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it is way cleaner than uh, most perfumes. And also it comes in this stick form, so you're not spraying it on yourself, you're not inhaling it. They have a lot of different scents, they're so easy to bring with you, they come in this paper packaging so it feels a little bit more sustainable. Love, 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 love. Oh, I almost forgot, I also have a clean deodorant that I want to share with you. This is the Botanical Cream Deodorant from Aurelia Probiotic Skincare. This is so lovely. It smells like peppermint, maybe a little bit of lavender. I'm not sure, but it's very minty. So it's a cream, quite a thick cream. So you just scoop out a little amount and then just rub it uh, in your armpits. And it is so effective. First of all, it feels nourishing. It almost has like a little bit of a cooling effect because of the uh, peppermint. So it feels really nice and it works. That's the thing, because a lot of clean deodorants, well, they just don't work. This one works so well. I've been wearing it when I bike to work, 11 kilometers, and I don't smell like sweat when I get there. And then I work all day, and then I bike home another 11 kilometers, and I still don't smell like sweat. So it works. And even when you're sweating, you just smell like peppermint, which I'm totally fine with. I would gladly smell like peppermint when I sweat rather than sweat. Let's move on to hair care. I'm actually going to skip 
shampoo and conditioner just because I it's so individual and I'm always like switching between different ones so I'm just gonna skip those and just jump straight into treatment so I have the intensive moisture treatment from Buclem this one is so good it smells divine it smells so good it's so nourishing it just leaves my hair so luscious i have naturally curly hair now my hair is straightened uh naturally my hair is very curly and this one is just so so good at like really hydrating my hair needs a lot of hydration because of the curls because curly hair is naturally drier and this one just is so 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 nourishing i also like to use it as a leave-in conditioner so when I step out of the shower and my hair is rinsed and clean, I will just apply like a small amount and just kind of brush it through and just leave it in. And that just gives me super, super soft hair. Love it. I just realized that all the hair products that I will be showing you are from Buclem, just because they are so darn good. And then I have the Revive 5 Hair Oil, also from Buclem. This is such an amazing oil. It smells... Oops smells a little bit minty like a little herbal but fresh and minty i don't know what it is with me and minty scents i feel like i really enjoy it um and it's as you can see it's very very liquid um very thin so i like that because it doesn't weigh the hair down it doesn't contain any silicones but it still gives a lot of shine to the hair without weighing it down and i like that especially when my hair is curly I can apply quite a lot of this without my hair looking greasy at all. It's just so, so, so lovely. And then for styling, I have the Curl Styling Gel, also from Buclem. <laughs> and this is just like a gel. And it is the best product when it comes to styling my curly hair. When I wear my hair curly, what I do is when I get out of the shower, my hair is clean, I will apply the oil and I will brush through my hair with a tangle teaser brush that is more gentle to the hair and that you can use in wet hair. And then what I do is that I apply this one. I use a lot of it and I apply it like all over my hair. I like to also brush it through so I really get it on all the hair strands. And then I just like to kind of do like this in the ends to, to really make sure that my hair is shaped in nice curls. And then I just let it dry. And then it gets really crunchy, but what it does is that it, it really holds it in place so it lets the hair dry down in, that, in those nice curls without getting frizzy uh, because otherwise the hair tends to really get frizzy during the drying process and then you end up with very frizzy, not very nice curls. But this one keeps the hair in place into these nice luscious curls as it dries and then when it's dried, then if you just... You guys know what I mean. I do this motion to my hair uh, and just breaking the crunchiness apart and then the hair becomes so soft. It's dry down in those perfect curls. It's shiny. It's just, ugh, it's so amazing. So I love that because when you think gel, you're like, oh, no, 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 thank you. But once it has dried down and you massage it, it's like it doesn't exist in your hair anymore. It's just like, ah, it's magic. If you have curly hair, you need to try this. Also, if you would like to see a video where I show you my hair styling routine, like for curly hair, then let me know in the comments. Let's move on to supplements. So this year I discovered this product. This is the Sync supplement from Vimergy. I really struggle with swallowing capsules and pills, and that's why I love this one so much, because this one is liquid. So you just, now it's empty, but you just pick out this dropper and then you drop it under your tongue and then you just let it be under your tongue for a minute before you swallow. And not only is it way easier for me who doesn't like to swallow capsules, but it's also way more effective. The body actually has an easier time absorbing these liquid uh, vitamins and especially when you put it under your tongue. I guess it's because you have these blood vessels there and it's just kind of like gets into the bloodstream. I love it so much and it doesn't taste bad. It tastes like um, berries, kind of like a concentrated juice. Since I started using this, I have seen a clear difference in not only my skin but also my nails. So sink is good for hair, skin and nails 
and my hair has always grown pretty fast so I don't really know if I see any difference there uh, my nails I see a huge difference they grow so fast and they're much much stronger um, now I just recently actually cut them down <laughs> but they are just they're able to grow so much longer and stronger on their own um, than they did before and also my skin I do see a difference in my skin zinc is an amazing supplement if you are struggling with skin issues um, I've struggled with acne from time to time and zinc has really helped me love it the final product is the plant collagen from your super so this is a superfood blend it contains uh, tocos pea protein tremella lucuma vanilla and aloe vera uh, i'm not sure what all those things are so this is a plant collagen so it's supposed to boost the collagen production in the skin and I'm not sure if I see a difference. I can't really tell because I'm also using a lot of other products that are doing good for my skin. But I really love it. It has a vanilla taste. I love to put it in my coffee and just make like a vanilla latte. It's so yummy. And I don't label myself as vegan or anything, but I don't eat meat. So I love that there is actually a plant-based alternative. I really, really love it. All right, that was all of my favorite beauty products from 2020. My throat is literally sore right now because I've been talking so much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful for you. Maybe you found some uh, products that you'd like to try yourself. I will link everything in description down below. If you have any favorite products that you think I should try then uh, please comment down below especially if you know any good primer or foundation because I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the little bell so that you can stay posted when I upload a new video. I hope that you have a wonderful start to the new year. I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe and until next time, as always, stay glowing!